video i'm going to be showing you some cool hangout spots where you can enjoy your time and spend your quality time with your friends or family or go on a date here in Kano state so i'm heading out now to a lovely place is quite new i think uh it's been home for like um two months so i feel like there is a need to show you guys my blog um i'll be dropping nice videos on this channel time to time i feel i'll find the time for this channel so hit the subscribe button if you find this helpful so let's dive into it Somebody's got your bolo When I get to Kaleido, I take the elevator to get to the lounge area. And this is the lounge entrance. Hmm, the aesthetic is giving. This is so lovely and the design is so nice. So let's dive into the area of the restaurant. So these are the settings of the entrance of the lounge. The sitting area is just so perfect. And this is the reception area and um, this is the indoor part of the lounge and i went there in the afternoon so this is the goof top it's most mostly filled up in the night and um this was around in towards the evening time i think like 5 pm and this is the rooftop area and this is me taking some nice shot to see how it's gonna look trust me it was nice this environment is so cool the setting the aesthetic the standard and this bar area is so nice like Aside from the bar area, their food tastes so nice, most especially this particular food. If you want to eat on budget and you don't want to, you know, spend so much, I think this is one of the cheapest food there. It's about seven to eight thousand naira, and um, it's so nice for this standard of a lounge restaurant. Come on, it's so good. I decided to take, taste it, and it's so nice. So if you're going there alone, maybe you should budget around ten thousand to fifteen thousand. Um, I'm not saying you should spend everything, but just spend, you know, reasonably. And I went back to the lounge area to just go test some cocktail and some drinks, and you know, some shayu. Um, fine. They don't really sell more of alcohol, but if you ask, mm, you might get it. But most of the display wine over there, they are non-alcoholic, so they are just wine. Considering this kind of state, and um, they don't sell alcohol openly and anyhow so they're respecting the state's rules and regulation and um it's so cool but you can always take a wine out take cocktails take some nice fresh juice so but if you get i'm sure you guys did well you know but one interesting thing about this by area is that all the workers are so friendly so this was in towards the evening uh, the beauty of the lounge is already coming out i decided to sh take some shots and um see all the colorful chairs and the like whoever designed this is so brilliant and um this is so cool and beautiful you can come here for a date maybe with your wife and um, these are some drinks i'm testing and um and we're just taking some nice shots to see a variety of angles so i went back to the lounge area to taste another different kind of drink and um trust me money was going ah you know it's you but um it's needed sha because i really wanted to take some time off and just wind up and just have a good time alone like i mean alone i don't want that's why i decided to win there if i go there alone because if i go there with friends or i won't be able to do all the things i'm doing so that is it and i was able to cover some parts of the lounge and i was heading home i took the elevator down to see and this was around 9 pm people are already filling up so i won't be very cool comfortable shooting you know some people don't like to be on camera and they'll be shy and they don't want to be on the internet i have to respect the choice and i uh, get downstairs and uh, because this is tile so this is the parking area and that is and that is where car parks most times and this underground 
so this is me editing right now after i should finish it on the vlog so if you enjoyed this vlog like and subscribe and i'm going to post more one love